Professor Rabetti, good to have you with us on the show. Um, if we can talk first about the repercussions of these uh, potential additional tariffs, how much help will they give to EU producers in the EV market? Thank you for uh, having me here. Um, the, the, my view is that uh, definitely the tariffs will not help the EU car makers uh, to uh, get a larger share in their internal markets. We know that um, um, the, the EU car makers they have intrinsic problems of moving from a carbon-based line of production to um, a more green option or EV uh, technology. So uh, the short answer is that I don't think that would help them. Tariffs in general are not good tool to, to support economic growth in internal markets because they hinder innovation in the long run, they hurt consumers, and they also trigger trading conflicts and, and can also um, um, give some retaliation. And to quote Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban warning that EU risks um, starting an economic cold war with China, this is the worst thing that could happen to Europe. And if it discontinues, the Europe economy can potentially die. At the end of the day, the European citizens, they want high quality fees. Uh, EU automakers cannot deliver them, but China can. Thus, instead of imposing tariffs, the EU should find a more collaborative approach involving a sharing camp, developing EV technology with Chinese firms, which German automakers are already doing uh, in Beijing. It should also incentivize Chinese car makers to move part of their facilities to Europe to generate jobs. So the tariff decision uh, shows an apparent disconnect between what some politicians have promised and what the market expects to be more competitive. You automakers um, must produce high quality electric vehicles, an area they currently lag behind. Imposing tariffs may hinder the efforts of EU automakers to strive for more affordable and high quality uh, green car options. It's well known that competition drives quality. EU commissioners must understand that Chinese BVs companies are not simply uh, Chinese uh, or a cheapest and uh, alternative. They have been delivering affordable, high quality technology developed in a highly competitive Chinese market to European customers. Um, in fact, some of the uh, cheapest Chinese products as are comparable in price to Tesla Model Y, while others are even more expensive. Surprisingly, Tesla tariff stands around 7.8%, while China-made BVs range from 17 to 13.3% on top of the existing 10%. However, unlike the U.S. market where Tesla dominates, the Chinese BVs market for startups has faced a brutal internal competition. We know that in the last seven or eight years, more than 500 BVs startups in China, now fewer than 10% remain in the market. That level of competition has led to an industry that is highly efficient, highly innovative, and capable of producing and exporting uh, technology and products to the rest of the world. So therefore, I do not think that tariffs are the right approach. A dialogue between the European Union and China is the best solution for both markets. We have a bit more than three weeks uh, to reach that agreement. Well, Beijing and the China Chamber of Commerce to the EU are calling the tariff decision a protectionist trade measure. The, the EU, though, says that China's uh, support to auto manufacturers gives, uh, gives them an unfair advantage. How do you look at uh, these opposing positions? Yes, this is an excellent question. Uh, in fact, we must clarify that the decisions uh, or the voting by different EU members are divided. We have France leading the camp of yes, we have Germany leading the camp of no, and 12 absences, which clearly suggests there's a huge division of how each uh, country member perceives the uh, tariff as a protectionist. Uh, as a financial economist, academic educator, and researcher, I believe free trade is very important. It drives innovation, economic growth. Consumers benefit from competition. Instead of creating new tariffs, we should work to reduce current trade barriers at WTO. Straightforward tariffs are too crude. They do not protect internal markets and that cannot benefit firms that cannot meet uh, consumer needs. Tariffs um, may also lead to trade wars. Consider the case of Germany, a country that voted against the tariff. The sentiment among car makers, uh, executives at BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Volkswagen is that if China retaliates, they will lose a significant portion of the Chinese market. In particular, German car makers generate more than one third of their sales in China. So following the announcement of the Chinese economic stimulus package, the signal from the market with several Chinese stocks trading significantly higher this week, 
is high confidence in China's internal consumer markets, which translates to potentially higher future consumption of high-end products, including premium German cars. On this point, Germany and other European countries should avoid engaging in trading conflict with China, as they could lose access to the world's largest internal market for products and services. However, one cannot rule out the hypothesis that Brussels might be using the proposed high tariffs to gain leverage on negotiations with Beijing, mm -hmm. as the final decision will come in about a month, leaving plenty room for negotiations. If that is the case, China must strategically uh, protect its interest in the BV external markets. The announcement of, the, again, the announcement of the economic stimulus package was well accepted at the 75th uh, anniversary of the country. It could be a significant step towards finding common ground, which also suggests growth internal markets for EU manufacturers, hopefully leading to a mutual long-term benefits.